Hello everyone, and welcome to a game that I'm sure everyone is rather familiar with. It's a six-year-old game at this point, maybe even seven years old by the time this gets released. I am referring to the game on your screen right now, Dark Souls, which I have completed before. In fact, I've actually completed it in NG Plus before, and I've got a few saves on the go, as you're about to see. But uh, I'm going to start again, start afresh, start anew, do it on YouTube. Um, and see how we get on. So, now you're not about to see all my other saves because I'm going to go straight into new character. Why wouldn't I? Alright then, let me just create this guy and we'll see what we have when I get back. So, this is our guy. Much like the guy in my attempted Skyrim playthrough, I've called him Ovader. He is a male thief. Um, thief already has the master key, which allows me to open most locks. So instead of that being the gift, I've made the gift the tiny beings ring. He's slim, whatever. He's a far east traveller, but he's got red eyes and red hair, which is pretty wild, as you can see. So that is our guy, Ovader, the red everything to far east traveller. And yeah, let's head into the eerie and pretty scary world of Dark Souls. Shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. First of the day. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty lords peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. 
indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This. Alright, so because this is such a long game to get through, I'm going to try and get through a lot of this as quickly as I possibly can. Now, I am already, as you can tell, very au fait with this game. I've completed it twice, so it's not going to be just me randomly doing stuff and failing and dying a lot like a lot of newcomers. I'm going to try and approach this like a pro, you know, as best I can and see how I get on like that. Oh, don't get me wrong, do expect death. There will be, oh, there will be plenty of death, but, um... <clears throat> Hopefully, well, as little as possible. Let's just kill this guy as well. There we go. Just a few souls to start the game off with. I'm very light, so I'll be, I should be very fast at rolling. Okay, up the ladder. And we have already reached our very, very first bonfire. Isn't that fun? Now, at the moment, all I can do is sit at it or leave, so... Let's just leave that for now, as it is our one and only option, and open this door. Now, is it me, or does this look like some sort of arena? Uh-huh. So if you look up there... Let's move back a bit. If you look up there, you can see that guy's waiting for us. He is just waiting for us. So if I was to try and run towards that door now... You know, as you do. Oh my word! No thank you! To the left, bye-bye. And, well, that's the easiest boss fight ever. And already we've reached our second bonfire. So, that's pretty dang simple. I'll just leave that again. I like to rest them just to make sure that I will get back there. Now, we come up against our first, like, proper enemy here. And he's got a bow and arrows. Let's just avoid that. Get the shield. And equip it as well. Target shield. There we go. Now, we haven't got our weapon back yet. We have only got our shield. Come back here. They always run away. The cowards they are. Always run Oh, I actually caught up with him. Um, is that seriously all I'm doing? Oh, dear. I wish he'd kept on running. Keep running. He's... Oh, dear, this is bad. Right, pick this up. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, he's carrying running. Which means I have a chance to do this. Oh, I can hear him. There we go. Just in time. And now I should be able to kill him nice and fast. There we go, three hits. Is he going to drop his bow? Nope, of course he isn't. That would have really helped. Would have been, frankly, too helpful from a game like Dark Souls. And the first of the white light. Fortunately, not to a boss fight on this occasion. Usually when there's some white fight... White fight? White light, it, it usually uh, leads to a boss fight. Not on this occasion. Now, we've got to go talk to that guy, but as you can see at the moment, there's no way in. At least not for us. Now, I'm going to do this just for your own entertainment. Three... Two, one. <laughs> oh, that was a laugh, wasn't it? But that did, as you can see, open up a hole in the wall leading to this guy. He is the guy that dropped us the um, corpse with the key on it, and now he looks to be in a pretty bad state, having crashed through that hole in the roof there. So, um, yeah, let's see what he has to say. Oh, you. You're now hollow. Hmm? Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I were both undead. Hear me out, will you? 
Eh, sure, why not? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, make a pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Thank you very much, my friend. Oh, and this. Thank you very much again, my friend. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Alright then, so he is on the verge of death, and if you listen in the background as I go up these stairs now... There it is, yeah, that's him dying, basically. So let's just continue on with our own voyage by killing this guy right here. Like so, get some of his souls, and use that key I was just given to get into here. And there's going to be a few guys around this corner, I do believe. Yep, here they are. Let's get their attention. Including another guy with a bow, so that could get injured. Ow! Alright, chill out. Hmm, can't seem to hit him at the moment. Come on! Run out of stamina there. Come on! There we go. As you can tell, this this uh, series will hopefully be live com. This first bit certainly is. Maybe even more than first, but I don't know how long this is going to go on for. Ooh, yes! Butt stab! A lot of people call it a back stab, but with most characters, I find it's a butt stab, not a back stab, so. But stab it is. And there's this guy who is a little bit more of a challenge usually, unless I can get a backstab on him, which I haven't been able to do. Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot this uh the bandit's knife causes blood loss, doesn't it? So that's cool. I've never actually played as Thief before, so I'm quite unfamiliar with the way the mechanics of this class work, although you'll find that as you level up more and more, your class actually works less and less into it, you know, it's it's less relevant. That is locked, there is a way you can get into it, but not until later in the game, so we'll leave that for now. And now to enter the boss fight, I'll take my Estus Flask now, as I'm sure I won't need, you know, all five of them. Traverse the white light into the first boss fight against the Asylum Demon. If we look down, there he is, hello. Plunge attack, hello. Straight in his, oh no, I was going to say straight in his head, it wasn't, it was sort of his back a bit. Now, one, two, three. Oh, that blood loss. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice indeed. All he's going to do is land his fat ass on you, attack. All right then, one, two, three. Oh, I am loving that that uh, blood loss. It's even more effective than when I'm just playing as like a warrior or a knight. Come on. Oh, I should not have asked him to come on. Oh, that was a mistake. All right, all right, all right. I get it. You're angry. Oh no. Oh no, he's missed. We're good. And he's missed again. Right, now we've got our chance. One. Oh, okay, he was doing a three-part attack. Okay, carry on hitting. Oh, he's missed that time. Good. One, two. This should do it. There we go. Nice and easy first boss fight. Can't believe I ever died on that guy, but then... I was new once. Like everyone else. Now, you can still hear his stamping. That's his brother. I forgot to get a look at, at him earlier on. But you can get a look at him. Um coming straight out of your cell, which I forgot to do for you guys, but never mind. We can come back to him later, if we choose to do so. Oh, someone's cast a miracle in here recently. That white light there, that white circle, is an online feature. It means someone online recently cast a miracle in this area, so good for them, good for them. Meanwhile, I am going to get off here now, because, well, this is not where we're meant to be. Lordran. 